sporty sedans. I've always been more of a coupe type of guy. No, I'm not talking about these four door coupes that you see now in the modern era. I'm talking about the two door cars. That said, I can see why sporty sedans are so popular. They're just as fun to drive. They're more practical and sometimes they even perform just as well as some two door sports cars. Today, I'll show you guys five affordable sporty sedans you can buy if you're in a tight budget. Also, a big thanks to Auto Tempest for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you guys about them a little later. The first car on the list is a Subaru Impreza WRX. I'm sure this car won't come as a surprise that it's one of the sportiest sedans you can buy, and given how much more affordable they are now, they make a great choice for pretty much any demographic. The full-time all-wheel drive system makes them suitable for snowy and rainy situations. The way it handles around corners makes it a perfect candidate to go for a spirited drive, and the two-liter boxer engine provides great gas mileage, making it a great daily driver. 20 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway. Keep in mind, you can get the earlier version with the controversial bug eye front for much less, but my goal was to keep the cars on this list as modern as possible. Plus, I personally like this body style better. Everything from the exterior that screams sportiness to the same theme going on inside of the cabin. The semi bucket rally type sport seats, leather wrapped Momo steering wheel, and a simplistic laid out non-complicated interior that makes everything driver focused and easy to use. Of course, the highlight of the Subaru BRX is the driving experience. Let's be honest, people that purchase this car is for one reason and one reason only, because of how it drives. Rally prep Subarus have always existed in other parts of the world like Japan and Europe, but you see when this car arrived here in the United States, it changed the game. The all wheel drive system and rally tuned suspension provide stability and plenty of grip on any road you desire to take it on. The suspension along with its 4 liter boxer 4 can take a serious beating which should allow you to extend your fun sessions. Performance wise, the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine produces 227 horsepower and 217 pound feet of torque which is more than enough for twisty roads. While the WRX is not really known to be a straight line car, it actually performs quite well in stock form. A sprint from 0 to 60 happens in just under 6 seconds which is pretty quick even in today's standard. <laughs> Who am I kidding, that's pretty slow in today's standard, especially here in the US, but honestly if you're looking to take a car like this to the track, cars with the fastest accelerations don't always win. Another reason the Impreza WRX is a win is because of the endless amount of aftermarket parts available for the platform. And since this car has been around for over a decade, you can search up WRX builds and find thousands for inspiration. Body modifications, wheel setups, tunes, aero, you name it. Best part is that you can find them for as low as $49,000. The second car on the list is the Acura TSX. As many enthusiasts may already know, the TSX is based off the European Honda Accord. Unlike the Accord we received here in the US, it was smaller, narrower, and sportier, making it much more of a fun car to drive. Essentially, Acura needed to fill in their gap between the Acura RSX and the Acura TL, which is why the TSX became a thing. It also satisfied those that were fans of the Integra sedan, something that the successor, the RSX, didn't offer, as they only had a two-door variant. The TSX was supposed to be the car that competed with BMW's 3 Series and Audi A4, but I think it fell a bit short. For one, it came with a front-wheel drive system, and the driving dynamics in general weren't quite to the level of those competitors. That said, the Acura TSX is an excellent car. Six-speed manual versions were pretty much bulletproof and customization options were plenty. Truth be told, I used to see some really nice TSX builds in the front of tuner magazines and I so wanted one. And as sporty as they are, you can't forget that it's an Acura, with plenty of luxury touches to go with the package. In fact, from factory it came fully loaded with only one option being available, a $2,000 navigation system. Everything else came standard. Perforated leather seats that were heated, dual zone automatic climate control, sunroof, HIDs, a 360 watt music system, you know, all of that. Performance wise, you get a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder VTEC engine that produces 200 horsepower and 166 pound feet of torque. Doesn't sound like much, but come on guys, it's VTEC. Jokes aside, it feels like it got more power than just 200, especially when VTEC kicks in. Handling wise, it's a bit heavy for its size, but surprisingly it responds pretty well around turns. In summary, this is one of those cars that looks quite conservative when kept stock, but with a few modifications, it can really stand out from the rest. Gas mileage is also quite impressive, 22 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway, making this not only a great daily driver, but since it's essentially a Honda, reliability shouldn't be a concern in the long run and on higher mileage models. I was able to find them for under $4,000 with around 100,000 miles on them. And considering these cars last well past 200,000 miles, that's actually a solid deal if you ask me. Alright, so let me quickly tell you guys about Auto Tempest, the sponsor of this video. By far one of the most common questions I get on this channel is what website do I use to find great 
great deals on used cars? And my answer is always the same. I use Auto Tempest. Guys, if there's one thing I hate the most is wasting time. That's essentially what you're doing going from car buying website to car buying website just to try to get the best deal on a used car. Auto Tempest serves as a one-stop shop by searching all the top car sales websites like cars.com, car gurus, and eBay Motors and shows you all the results in one place. You can even compare the results with listings from Craigslist nationwide and even locally. Here's the Acura TSX I just spoke about, and look how easy it is to get the best deal every single time. I highly encourage you guys to give Auto Tempest a try, and if you find it as useful as I have over the past year, then share it with somebody you may know that is in the market for a used car. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below so you guys can check them out. Now back to the video. The third car on the list is the Volkswagen Jetta GLI. Ah yes, the Volkswagen GTI with a trunk. Well, not exactly, but pretty close. Sure, it shares the same powertrain as the GTI, but it doesn't have the sexy hot hatch look and it doesn't handle as well around the twisties. But that's okay, because chances are you're more likely to find a Jetta GLI unmolested unlike the GTI and at a better price too. The GLI transforms the boring Jetta most people are familiar with into a car that can be a joy to drive and the best part is that it can take a beating. I had a buddy of mine that absolutely ripped his Jetta GLI. When he wasn't stopped at a red light, he was flooring it and mashing through the gears and around twisty turns, he really put it through its limits. Not only did the car surprisingly stay planted, but it never had mechanical issues, even after all that beating. That said, since it is a German vehicle, if anything does end up failing on this car, parts and labor can be very expensive. So realistically, I'd only recommend this car to those that work on their own cars. A lot of the Jetta GLIs you can find out there include the Autobahn package that includes a few goodies, including the 400 watt Fender sound system which I was really impressed with. Sitting in the front seats listening to a high quality track feels like you're in a concert. The soundstage coming from the perfectly proportioned speakers was unreal to say the least. Some things that separate the Jetta GLI from the regular Jetta is the inclusion of the independent sport tuned suspension, a better looking interior which includes a flat bottom steering wheel and of course the outside looks much sportier. And I can't leave out the TSI turbocharged 2 liter engine that produces 200 horsepower and 207 pound feet of torque. One grip I have with the Jetta GLI is that it lacks a traction control button. Gay? Which pretty much means that no matter how hard you want to drive it around the track, the electronic system will always interfere. I guess to some people that's not necessarily a bad thing, but to the hardcore enthusiasts it's kind of sad. But even with those traction control limitations, it manages to go from 0 to 60 in around 6 seconds. And by the way, this is officially the most modern car I featured on this list, and you can find them for under $6,000. The fourth car on the list is the E90 BMW 335i. You just knew that this car would make the list. I mean, come on guys, it's me. And before I get a flood of messages in the comment section talking about poor reliability, money pit, break my wallet, but Scotty, listen, this car isn't for everyone, I get it. This is a car for the risk takers. How big is your risk tolerance? If it's big, then this car packs a massive punch with the right amount of luck and handy skills. It features a timeless design, loads of luxury features, it handles like a dream, and oh yeah, it comes equipped with a highly tunable engine. In fact, it may be one of the easiest engines to get power out of in the modern era. And for cheap too. 100 bucks gets you 100 horsepower on a stock engine. At this point, you probably think I sound a little biased. Well, maybe I am, but at the end of the day, the car speaks for itself. These cars have become so obtainable over the years thanks to depreciation, and man, do you get a lot for the price. Earlier models are definitely more troublesome than the later ones because of several weak points, but once you address those fragile parts, the inline 6 engine can be very dependable. I've owned my E93 335i for over 5 years. Only two major things broke, the high pressure fuel pump which was replaced for free under a BMW recall and the electric water pumps that failed at 70,000 miles which I ended up paying out of pocket. Other than that, just regular maintenance as you would expect from any performance car. The reason the sedan version is desirable is one, you can find them cheaper, they are more practical along to haul your family around and at the same time being a nice weapon for spirited driving. Also it's pretty much a sleeper, it looks almost the same as the less powerful 328i version but what lies inside is the real deal. Comes equipped with a turbocharged inline 6 engine that produces 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque. And man do you get a lot of power very early in the power band. At around 2400 rpm you have access to all the torque. Turn traction control completely off, brake boosting, you're flying. Okay, well I wouldn't recommend any of that, kids. Interior looks excellent, especially with the sport package that includes bolster adjustable seats with thigh support, and they really keep you hugged around hard cornering. 
This is definitely the most car you can get for the price on this list. You can find them for as low as $3,000 and sometimes even lower than that. The fifth and last car on the list is the Dodge Charger RT. Yeah, not really sporty per se, but more so a big rear wheel drive sedan with a massive engine up front, which can somewhat be sporty, right? I guess. Either way, I decided to include it, and I have to say, it has a great power to dollar ratio. Even when it first released, it only went for $30,000, which was a bargain back then for over 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque. And now the deal is even sweeter as you can find them for very cheap. You see, this car can be fun, but in a very different type of way. It's big, it's heavy, but it can surely burn rubber even if it only came equipped with an automatic transmission. The fact is that it can easily lose control and at times feel like it's uncontrollable, which can be lots of fun when you're in an enclosed road. This is the car you'd probably buy if your spouse told you a Mustang is too impractical. Well, honey, this one is very practical and plenty of room for basketball players and massive trunk for groceries while having a massive Hemi under the hood. The Charger RT came at the time where there was a thirst for those 1960s to 1970s muscle cars. Essentially, this was a way to bring the classic to the modern era. Did it work out that way? Or was it just a failed plan to bring back an iconic nameplate for the sake of sales? Four doors versus two doors? Hmm. Well, that's for you to decide. I will say this, the Charger RT provides the worst fuel efficiency on this list, obviously, but in order to combat that, the Hemi engine can deactivate four of its cylinders when it doesn't think it needs it in order to conserve fuel. But honestly, if you're in the market for a car like this one, then you probably don't give squats about fuel consumption. It comes equipped with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that produces 340 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque, making it the most powerful car featured on this list. Zero to 60 happens in just 5.6 seconds if equipped with the road track pack. Yeah, a little confusing. A RT package on an RT package. <laughs> Essentially, you get a 10 horsepower bump and sportier suspension tuning. But yeah, if you want a straight line machine that handles corners like a boat, then this might be the car for you. You can find them for just under $5,000. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please do me a big favor and hit that like button. It'll help this video get suggested to other people also looking for cheap cars. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. That way you don't miss out on my next video. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.